Hello, and we're in Laxey on the east coast of the Isle of Man. And I'm, uh, it's 13 degrees today, it's almost tropical. So I'm just having a wander around, and I was thinking about great combinations and great pairings, such as fish and chips, Tom and Jerry, rhubarb and custard, curry and rice, laurel and hardy, and of course, axe throwing and beer drinking. Yes, you heard me right, axe throwing and beer drinking, the new combination what takes place on South Quay in Douglas at a place called Mad Jacks, it's great, so let's get ourselves over to Mad Jacks to do some axe throwing and have a few beers, see you down there, cheers! Mad Jacks, South Quay, Douglas, Isle of Man So, there I am in Mad Jacks, got my axe, got my target, here we go Look at that, right in the middle. We'll have another go. Right in the middle. I'm good at this game. I've got a place, and you can have a beer, and that's where we're going soon. Oi! Sorry, mate. Why me? That's before I've had a beer. I think I need to go to the bar, don't you? Right, come on, let's go. Cheers. I've only been going about five months. It's a cracking bar. And uh, this is Sean, the owner. Hi, Sean. How's it going? And he's just pouring a few samples out for us and we're going to take these to the drinking booth uh, just around the corner. We'll see you in there. Right. Oh, finally, time for a beer. And this is Sean, the owner of Mad Jacks. And the other lad in there is Dylan, who runs a bar and he's a top lad, isn't he? He is. He, he really is. is. So, annoying, but... It's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did it all start and when did it start? Um, okay, so the actual started about, uh, we're coming up to three years minus all, all the COVID side. Um, we wanted to um, have a bar from the off, but, you know, had to sort of yeah. uh, crawl before we could walk. Uh, the bar kicked off about five months ago. Right. Um, and we concentrate on axes, ales and cocktails. So, axes being the axe row and ales being the craft beer. So, we, we only really deal with independent craft beer companies. Yeah. Um, and then also, obviously, the cocktail as well we've got on the menu there, right so, yeah. so all the things you've got here you've got pool table obviously you've got your axe throwing you've yep. got a food van outside haven't you yeah so the mad gringo is a, a local independent uh, food van that we've we've linked up with a good friend of mine from yeah. from years ago played football with and stuff like that so they um essentially um are, are right outside they uh, bring their food in for our customers our customers enjoy craft beers and really nice uh, independent street food yeah um, yeah it works really well so yeah because yeah, yeah you know it's uh you do a lot of corporate stuff as well, don't you? Yeah, yeah, that's and, that's uh, on my. You still do your children's parties? Yeah, do children's yeah. parties. Obviously, they don't enjoy the craft beer. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe not do. the sharp axes. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they they do the they they have like Sonic and Knuckles mocktails yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. We do oh, for those guys. Yeah, so it's awesome. Right. So I've just seen the bar before. Yeah. And uh, at the moment, it's a tiny Rebel Brewery takeover because mm. yeah, you have a. Other beers like Beaver Town, yeah, Magic yeah. Rock, and that Dark Monk, Cat, yeah, yeah, and all, all that. Guys, yeah. But uh, it lets a brewery take over the taps for a certain amount of period. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, it's Tiny Rebel Brewery from uh, Newport in South Wales. And they were established in 2012. And in 2015, they won the Supreme Champion Beer Award. Did you know that? I didn't, actually. No? And I, knew, I knew the award yeah, winning, but I didn't know Yeah, and it's, know it was that. a red ale called uh, Kutch. Yeah, Kutch, yeah. Anyway, so the first beer I'm going to try. Uh, uh, well, we've decided we're going for this one. The Pale Ale, uh, yeah. for, was it 4.3%? Yeah, and easy, it's called Easy Living. Easy Living, yeah. There you go. It's a very yellowy, blondy type beer. Mm -hmm. It's got a right citrus nose on that, hasn't it? It has. Oh, I'll give it a slurp. Right, that's pleasant, smooth, citrusy, but not overpowering. Yeah. And I think. If I came here for a bit of a night, I think I'd start off on that. <laughs> yeah, have a most people do. Yeah, yeah, most it's, people it's, do. It's, it's, it's just nice and steady, yeah. easy going. A lot of our customers are new to the craft beer side yeah. of things, and that's uh, I always recommend that. Right. Uh, I would say this is this is the one you want to kind of you, you, your entry entry level sort of stuff, um, and it's super super popular. So this one is Tiny Rebel Hazy IPA, and it comes in at four point eight percent. Yeah, this is obviously an hazy beer. Yeah, that's just, and just looking at that, rebel. it's something I'll have with my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Now that doesn't smell as uh, citrusy as that, but no. it's more sweeter that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, more it's, orangey. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's, uh, it's a bit more fruity. I would, yeah. I would say. It tastes fruitier. Yeah, like a bit of grapefruit there. Yeah, pineapple. Really good. But I'll tell you what, Sean. 
I'll be happy swapping that for me breakfast. Yeah. Be great <laughs> having you have bacon and sausage with that, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's nice. Surprised with that. I was a bit hesitant about that, but that's all right. It's a popular one. And the final one is called Young Arts Peach Pavlova, coming in at 5.8%. So obviously mm -hmm. a bit of a meaty one. Uh, there's a colour on it, nice and orangey. Oh, blimey. That's proper meringue, that, isn't it? Mm. Oh, man, eh? That's got to be different, isn't it? Meringue, yeah, definitely. Well, it is peach meringue, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. it just smells like it. Don't know what's in this, but it's, <laughs> it's going to be different. Actually, it's nice. I didn't expect that. Did you expect it to be really sour? Uh, yeah. Okay, so it's, it's got, only a little bit sour. I think it's sour and it's very sweet. You've got that like yeah. really cool mix, and people are surprised every time they have it. Yeah, but it's it's, it's a little bit of bitterness, but yeah. it's not. It's not. You're not it's like not overpowering. You're not squeezing it? your yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's nice. So let me have a little think here. That one I'd have for my session. That one I'd have with my breakfast. Yeah. And that one, I'd have for a treat, I think. It's a treat, isn't it, yeah. that? Yeah, I always kind of call it yeah. a dessert beer. <laughs> you know, end of the night sort of yeah. thing. Little, I think that'd go food. well if you have a burger and chips or something. 100%, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> little, little food, little half. Yeah. That's the trick for that one. So, Tiny Rebel, nice one. Now, before Sean started up this axe throwing Mad Jacks, he used to work at a calendar factory. He did. They got sacked, they could, took a couple of days off. <laughs> and then, he used to work at Davison's, a local ice cream factory, and he realised he couldn't do Sundays. No, nope. and he used to be, used to be a masseur, he used to do massages, yes. But he got sacked from that because he kept rubbing up the customers the wrong way. Blimey. <laughs> but he's, he's found what he wants to do now. He loves his beer, he loves his axe throwing. So, the future is, uh, now you told me previously that you are thinking of doing a collaboration with Martin Bunchfile at Bushes yes. to do a, a cast beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a lot more kind of beer you're thinking of producing. We're not sure yet. It's no. going to be a, 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 probably down the pale ale sort of um, sort of avenue. Yeah. Um, we don't want we want something that the masses can enjoy. Well, what we're really trying to do on the Isle of Man yeah. is, is is get craft beer yeah. the norm. That's yeah, what we want. Yeah. We want everyone to enjoy craft beer. So it's probably going to be a pale ale. Right. Um, it's probably going to be after the, yeah. the TT. Uh, a cast beer will bring people like me over more, won't it? And we'll then, get the hand then, on. And yeah. then you can out introduce them to a couple of Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, we know one thing I like about this show. It's the only pub to have a drink on this side of the quay. It is. Because there used to be a pub years ago, Trafalgar up yeah, there. Yeah, But yeah. all the pubs are on North Quay. Yeah. But this is the only place where you can have a drink on the other side on South yeah. Cape, which is the right bonus, side, isn't it? Really, yeah. really good. So, what's your future then? What's your plan? Uh, so, so we're we're looking at increasing the craft beer external offering here at Mad Jack. So, we'll, we want to go. Uh, we want to go and take craft beer on the road. We want to do all the pop up events around the island. Yeah. We're we're building a rig at the minute that we you physically can do sort of hand pumps and stuff. On all right, it, you know, yeah, yeah on the yeah. road. So it's yeah. quite rare on the Isle of Man. Um, so yeah, that's kind of our avenue. Second location, tap room, nice. Food. Food. We're going to include nice food, maybe mm -hmm. get a kitchen in there and stuff like that to complement the types of beers we have on tap in the month. So really go quite niche. All oh, right. Quite, quite, quite um, I wasn't you know, listening for a bit of 30 seconds now. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just enjoying the beer. <laughs> Basically, find <laughs> more beer and uh, good food. So that's the uh, Easy Living Pale Ale, sessionable. This one, what I've nearly drank, Hazy IPA, my breakfast beer, and this mm -hmm. one. My little tree, Peach Pavlova, Young Hearts, 5.8%. Nice one. Thanks, Sean. Thank you, mate. Appreciate you coming in. Cheers for watching. Nice thank guys. you, Dylan. Cheers, lads. <laughs> oh, thank you, Dylan's dog. We nearly knocked him over before. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <It's fine. laughs> so, this is the outside area of Mad Jacks. And I'd uh, just like to thank Sean there for his hospitality. And Dylan for looking after the beer. And... Also, hope Dylan's dog's all right. Nearly got knocked down before. So this is a good little area to have a pint and a smoke and a, a burger. It's fine. So, yeah, well done, Mad Jacks. Nice one, Tiny Rebel. And see you soon. And thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, give it a waz. Cheers.